Hello and this is Harold again with a new tutorial on making an 808 bass sound with the Helion Sonic SE Flux Wavetable set that comes with Cubase. So the first thing we need is Helion Sonic. Let's put this in. And to initialize the Flux Synthesizer we have to select here in Halion Sonic. Normally we are here at Program Filter. We have to go to Layer Filter like this. And the only thing you see here is Init Flux. So we double click and Init Flux. And then we have here the Flux Synthesizer, which is a wavetable synthesizer where you can select here the wavetable. You have two oscillators, a sub oscillator, noise, which you can also use for samples. And so let me show you how to make this 808 sound. So at first we choose both oscillators and go to the wavetable here and choose a sine wavetable. Here like this. Then we go to the second one and choose the sine wavetable again here. The sine and in the wavetable you can now go to through the position of the wavetable like this with this position slider. So that means the more you go through the position, you, the more sine waves you have stacked over each other and the more highs and overtones you have. Like this. But in this case we need the pure sine wave here. So let's first use the span analyzer so we can see where we are. This is like this. This is the, the two sine waves that are at the same position with the same um, fine tuning and the same volume. So we just use this one here, the second one, and change a little bit the position so we get a little bit of highs here, a little bit of overtones here. So later we can distort that and uh, have not only the deep bass but also a little bit of highs here. So the next one we do is we go to the sub oscillator like this and select the sub here. And now you can hear there are the overtones from the sub which is the triangle. And with the level we just keep it like this at the moment. And now let's go to the amp. This is the amp. So what we do is we turn the sustain down and with the decay we change the length of the tone. So here we have it. But this is not deep enough for us now. So wait a moment. We go to the filter. We change the filter to low pass in 12 dB and then we take down the cutoff a bit like this to have a deep bass. So after this and that's the interesting thing in flux is we use here on sub on the right side if we uh, turn it on here we have the noise but we don't need the noise here. Uh, we're not choosing the noise here we're choosing one of these samples and there are samples here drum attacks we have kick attacks so we can use any kick attack sound we we like but we don't have to have it in loop because then the kick will repeat so we turn this loop off and then we have a kick and let's go uh, like this I think I was here or another one yes this is more like a kick and turn it off a bit higher go to the low pass like this again and now we have a little bit of kick let's check another one I think okay this is more like the kick we want to have so now let's go to here to the filter again and we have distortion here in the filter and turn it up the tube distortion a little bit more down. I 
or we go change to distortion, to hard clip, like this, then a little bit more down, so like this, a little bit filtering is the resonance, Ah, uh, no, that's too much. A bit more clipping. And now we can adjust the level a bit. We can, we can see here that we have this high tone, but the lows are not loud enough. So we can change the level a little bit. Like, like this. Turn the sub up. And turn the two oscillators down a little bit, like this. Now we're going, we have a little bit highs, the kick. And the distortion. A little bit more distortion. So. What else we can use is a little bit modulation on the pitch. Let's try this. So to use some modulation on the pitch, we go to the envelope here, envelope 3, and go here to the modulation section and choose as uh, envelope 3 as the source. And as destination, we choose, let's go to, is, do we have a overall, oh, okay, wavetable 1 pitch, and again envelope 3 for wavetable 2 pitch. Then turn it all up so we can hear it. So we have the attack very low, the decay, the level. So we have a little bit of pitch decay in the beginning of the sound. So a little less here on the pitch, like this, so that's it as far as I made the sound with flux. Let me repeat that for you, in the flux we have two oscillators, both of them are in sine waves and uh, position is a little bit up on one, so we have a little bit more overtones, highs. And we have a sub oscillator that's fairly loud. So we have the bass here and we use the kick from one of the samples. You can adjust that from the volume and don't forget to turn off the loop unless you want really to have it repeated all the time. And we used filter here, the cutoff and the clipping to distort our sound. Like this. and then change it to taste according to your song. So thank you for watching. This has been Harold from Hidden Room Studio. This was about making an 808 in Flux, the wavetable synth in Halion. Thanks and goodbye.